So I'm out with the street vendors here today on my way back home from No Republic. I got oranges for 250, 250 pesos, a couple mangoes for 100 pesos, and cocoa bread for 35 pieces for 7 pesos each. That's maybe $5 Canadian. Uh, yeah, about well, $5 Canadian, and not too bad. So that's the skyscraper I'm staying in. I think it's about 55 floors. It's called Horizon 101. On general maximum, general maximum way. Yeah, I'm just sitting here relaxing a bit. And uh, I just went down for a swim, which is 43 stories down there but I also found out while I was down there um, there's a gym in this building right here this is a whole separate building I think this one's uh, 47 floors and this one here I think it's 45 yeah so that's uh, pretty cool um, I went down to the front desk and asked about it and they'll uh, they said it's for registered guests or long-term residents. I said, well, I'm here for a month, so they'll check out what it is. So that's pretty cool. Um, I've been working out up here, though. Uh, right here, I brought my yoga mat. And my plan is to do body weight training every couple days for, for an hour or something. So keep me, keep me slim and trim. And then when I finally get back to see Ben at Gold's Gym and Prince George, I can actually lift some weights then because we had a pretty good program going there this year but with um, the COVID restrictions and then me going to LNG Kitimat for five or six weeks and then right after that coming down here we've postponed we've reset we've reset <laughs> well I've reset the uh, training program that he set up for me so I'll get back to him in a couple months so yeah, as long as I stay, you know, relatively fit, I should be okay. Even though know, getting back to work, it's a, it's a physical job. So, okay, well, um, yeah, talking about work, I wore wore work boots pretty much every weekday for the past three years, and um, this is kind of funny, but maybe it's gross to somebody, but <laughs> some people. But anyways, I've got calluses on my big toes because of excuse me because of my work boots because they rub on the side of my, my big toes rub on the side of my work boots so here they here they are and <laughs> I know this is kind of silly but yeah they're coming off so that's good and my thumb which has been really really sore from using a screw gun impact wrench or sorry impact gun and uh, router has been very very sore right here in the uh, Right here, I'm gonna hold that with my feet. Right here, there's a bone right here, because me pushing like this for constantly in my trade. So it's been really sore, but it's feeling better. So yeah, this two month uh, vacation, you know, just relax and chill, and I got a hell of a view, and um, you know, I can, I can, I can do this. So I can do this. So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be good. And uh, yeah, so I'll go pick up Joanna in a couple hours. I'll ride the Kawi RS200 down there, which I rented for a month, and uh, pick her up and uh, see what happens then. She works from 8 till 6.30, 10 hour days um, on the weekdays, but at least we're at the weekends together. And we get to spend the evenings together, which is uh, huge because we spent three years without being you know seeing each other just online right with uh, video chat and stuff like that okay catch you later today is March 25th 2022 um, that Joanne went to work her boss picks her up at 7 a.m. right out the door at the, at the lobby so that's really good I went down there and walked into the car and opened the door like a gentleman <laughs> Her boss, her manager there, she, she, she smiled. She thinks I'm such a gentleman. I'm just kidding. Anyhow, 
Um, I went for a walk up to the bakery after it and I uh, had some leftover hot dogs here from the night before and I found uh, seven kids laying on cardboard in the, mi in the middle of the sidewalk sleeping. So I woke them up and I gave them all uh, hot dogs and uh, some just kept sleeping and had just held a hot dog in there, opened their hand and put it in their hand and fell back to sleep. So I hope they can, when they wake up, he has a hot dog. Um, pretty sad. Um, I love the Philippines, but that part breaks my heart. And uh, you know, it's just, the homelessness is a nasty place to be. It is, and I have empathy for those children. Not at that age being homeless, but homelessness is is, is a really really tough life. Anyhow, let's move on. Let's move forward here. I'm heading to. The office of the civil registrar in Cebu. Um, it's a 10 minute ride on a motorbike, just down, uh, uh, just down Maximal, I don't know how to, uh, yeah, Max, Maxalom Avenue, General Maxalom Avenue, just at the bottom uh, at uh, Cebu South Road. So I guess it's right at the uh, city hall. I have to go in there and see about what requirements I need, well, we need, John and I, for uh, marriage, marriage certificate, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, give it a shot, see how it goes. Um, this is what I was gonna do in the first week while I was here, you know, uh, a lot of running around, getting uh, better with the jet lag, um, starting to wake up at 5 a.m. with Joanne in the morning and feeling pretty good, so yeah. I, uh, I rented this place for a week just to, just to get the bugs out when I first got down here. And uh, yeah, feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. So I uh, hope the traffic is uh, crazy as ever because it's a blast riding out here, man. I got some videos of uh, time lapse videos set up. Maybe I'll share uh, later on at a later date. Uh, that's another thing I've got to do is uh, start editing videos to uh, present them or upload them to. YouTube and uh, I am a little leery about that I've never I've, I've experienced with it a little bit about two years ago uh, before I was gonna come up here then but that all got canceled um, but uh, you know I'll, I'll try it um, I had no uh, one of Joanne's nieces Sherilyn she's a youtuber and she's pretty good at it so I've been hoping to meet up with her and she can help me do some editings and things like that so these videos might come a little late <laughs> but I hope not hopefully uh, I can talk to her soon and, and get them uploaded anyhow I gotta get going it's uh, 9 44 a.m. Um, this process is supposed to be pretty good from the reviews I read on uh, on Google so it should go fast usually you're waiting a lot standing in line a lot uh, in the Philippines and um, the Filipino people are very patient they can sit and wait forever as long as they got their so phones they're okay man <laughs> they're okay um, yeah having a real good time later just getting ready to jump on the bike here we rented a Kawasaki RS 200 good little bike Grant Brand new, well, 2021, so got a few Ks on it, just broken in, it runs pretty good. Anyhow, just thought I'd share. Today is March 26, 2022. Uh, Saturday, nice day outside, sun shining. So I got laundry hanging out. Yeah, nice. Nice, beautiful day out there. Um, as for an update of yesterday, so went to the civil registry and they gave you a number and you just sat in line and waited for your number, which was a really good process. Um, never seen anything like that in, in the Philippines. Usually people just waiting and transferring chairs and hopping along like frogs, but this worked really well. So that process was good. However, when I seen the representative, when my number was called, um, he asked me uh, where I'm from, I said Canada, and then he asked where Joanne was from, and I said, well, she's staying with me in Cebu at 101 Horizon, and uh, he says, well, where, what's her, 
permanent address, her barangay, and she said, I'm not too sure. But then I checked, I had her address in, she texted me her address before, so I gave her the address, I gave him the address, and uh, he says, oh, well, you can't do anything here, you have to go to Mandawi City, because that's the suburb of Cebu City, where Joanne's permanent residence or mailing address is. So uh, I said, well, can you give me some, a piece of paper just stating what kind of requirements I need to obtain a marriage license? And he wouldn't give it to me. I was like, and it was sitting, like the plexiglass is right here. And it was just sitting right across the plexiglass. I could see it, but I couldn't read it. And I, you know, all he had to do is just give me a piece of paper so I'd have some idea of what kind of requirements we need to get this marriage license. He wouldn't give it to me, so. I was frustrated, but you know what? Um, it is what it is. Things are different. There's a different process where I come from, and you just have to accept the fact that the process here is going to be a little bit different. And, uh, you know, just move on. So, what I called Joanne, so what I did is I called Joanne, and I'll drive her. We made a plan. I'll drive her to uh, her work, which is in Mandawi City, close to the city hall, which has the civil registry. And we'll look at that Monday morning, and then I'll go in and uh, get that process done again. So we'll do that. So, um, so what are we up to today, Joanne? <laughs> See, so my dentist. We're going to your dentist. Okay, and the dentist is where? In Mandawi City. In Mandawi City? I thought, okay. I thought it was close to Ayala Mall. We're gonna pass Ayala Mall and all the way goes uh, All the way to Mandawi, Mandawi City. Yeah, it's nice to have Joanne here in the morning on the week, weekend. That's the days we get to spend together because she works. How many hours a day do you work? Nine hours a day, and how many days a week? Five. Yeah, okay, five. She works five. at Packlight. Packlight, what's it called? Packlight Incorporated. Packlight Incorporated. Uh, they uh, deal with printers and printing accessories, toners, papers, office supplies, things like that. Right, dear? Correct. Correct, okay. So, yeah, we're going to go and get... Uh, her brace is tightened up, so Joanne has, she has new braces, she's had it for three months, she's getting her teeth straightened out, which is going out, going well. So we'll do that, and then, then where are we going? Joanne. That's a mall. Where? The... Where are we going? SM. SM Mall. See, she talks to me all the time, but then you put a camera in her face and she's all shy. We're going to SM Mall to do what? process Senomar. My Senomar. And what does Senomar stand for? Certificate of no marriage. So you have to have a certificate of no marriage proving that you aren't married for a requirement of marriage. Then where are we going to go? Go to downtown. We're going, <laughs> we're going, to, we're going to Cologne. <laughs> and we're going to Cologne Street? Yeah, I'm going to show you the craziest <laughs> area in Cebu. <laughs> I hope it's not like Vancouver downtown east side, but we'll check it out and see how it goes and we'll check in with you later.
Okay, so we made it here in one piece. What mall are we at? Um, in Gaisano Capital, Casuntingan. And this is where your dentist is in this mall? Yes. Okay, and our appointment is in about, I don't know, 45 minutes. So we'll just uh, mosey on in there and Joanne can get her, her brace. Adjustment. Huh? Brace adjustment. A brace adjustment, okay. Say hi, Joanne. She's not getting so shy anymore because uh, we watch other couples vlog and they both talk at the same time, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, inside we go. We can't get into the mall right now until 9 o'clock. Uh, I think it's 9 o'clock. Well, now they're letting the people in. Oh, it's a beautiful day here anyways. I guess we can go in. It's 9 o'clock, but your appointment's at 9.30, right? Yeah. Okay. But we can check them that I'm here now. You're here now? And then after we can come back? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll we'll take a trip later. Okay. We'll explore later. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, here we are at SM City Mall, going to run. And we went to, what was the name? Smi Counting Smiles? Counting Smiles. Counting Smiles Dentistry. Dowie and she brought her brace all adjustment. tightened up. Yeah. Adjustment. So that's what that happens like once a month? Yeah. We have to do that once a month to get invested? Okay. And then uh, now we came to the mall here to go to what's the name of that? Um, the sur thing? Service center. The service center here to get a Cenomar. Once again, that's certificate of no marriage. I filled out all the paperwork and paid the fee, which is 250 pesos per uh, The Cinemars are 250 pesos each. And now we just uh, came to famous Belgian waffles. As you see up here, I really love this restaurant. I love the waffles. We've had it a few times. We went to Palawan three years ago, and uh, I ate them at the airport. I ate them at the mall. I just absolutely love this place. So it's good to be back. To have some Belgian waffles. Yeah. yeah. The waffles are here. Do you like them? Yes. They're I oh, know, my favorite too. Anyhow, they come in these little wrappers here. The original waffle, famous. And then you can get like all, all sorts of toppings for the Belgian waffles. Um, they the banana to cocoa to hazelnut. That's what I got. And uh, all kinds. Anyways, we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna look around the mall a little bit more.